people always ask me what was the turning point with, with Thistlecrack, because he was just a nice horse and he suddenly became very, very top grade. We, he was in a, in a graded race at um, Ascot. Michael Leg, the nephew of the owners, uh, he, he was going to ride him, then he couldn't claim. So I said we had to find someone else and Joe found that Ruby was there riding in another race. So got on to his sister and she said yes. Anyway, Ruby rode him, had him in third place, running in the third, Swindy bottom. And without making any effort, he let him drift back to last. And we looked, me and John and Snook looked at each other and said, well, he's only there for riding for his, for his fee. He said, oh, he's dropped right back to last. And then he sort of let him jump, let him run in the bottom of two hurdles. And then he picked him up and, and ran to the turn of her home, went to two out, pulled his stick through three times. The horse absolutely took off. He, he was absolutely he came in smiling, saying he wasn't getting away from his fences. He wasn't doing this or that. So I thought he said, I thought I'd let, I'd let him jump. He said, I thought I'd let him jump two or three hurdles on his own, and then pick him up. And that's what, that's what he done. Make another horse. I've never, no one else would have the nerve to do it. But uh, that's why he is what he is. Um, from then on, it was straightforward. He was. He never needed to do that again anyway. He's been brilliant ever since.